I would say they're committed to share Christ. Uh, I will say that they're committed to help you out and, you know, so you can grow as a person in like, you know, personally and academically. And they kind of like, they're committed to set you to, you know, what is coming after that, like what is coming after high school. Gabby Ruano attended and graduated from Great Lakes Christian High School a long way from her native Ecuador. Gabby was on a career path that would lead to her BA and MBA, becoming a savvy and accomplished business person in an international business environment. She credits Great Lakes Christian High School with providing an education that also encompassed care, good guidance, diversity, and community, resulting in special lifelong connections. Gabby loves sports and embrace those and other curricular programs at Great Lakes Christian High School. We'll start, Gabby, by asking if you could please give us a summary of what you've been up to since you graduated from Great Lakes Christian High School. For example, uh, where did you attend post-secondary school? Uh, where, what did you study and uh, what are you up to now? Go ahead. Sounds good. So after I left Great Lakes, I went to, I went back home. So I'm from Ecuador, South America. And then I started applying for university, and, uh, different college, and trying out for scholarships because I play uh, basketball and soccer. So I ended up in uh, Orlando for my freshman year. I was playing basketball there for like a, like a year and a half. And then I transferred back to Missouri, like I transferred to Missouri. So I graduated from Linden University it is in St. Charles, like a really nice town, uh, um, 2015. And then I did my master's. So I have a master's in business administration with an emphasis in international business in 2017. So after that, you know, I start, you know, searching for jobs. So I stay here in Missouri where I have the opportunity to work at Joyce Meyer Ministries. So I'm a search engine and advertising specialist. So I just, my role is just to make sure um, <clears throat> people are able to search, like engage with our content. So if a person is searching for like, how to overcome depression, how to overcome anxiety, how to trust God. So I gotta make sure the content, like the Jewish my content is accessible for that user. I also do like uh, pay media. So I buy um, ads on social media. So I do different type of promotions on there just to make sure we, we reach all the people um, and just bring hope. And I got married actually three times, well, with the same guy. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so let me rephrase that. So I married my husband three times. So we have one answer and money back home in Ecuador, one here for his family here in the US in the courthouse. So I say yes, three times to the same guy. And we have been married for a year. Yeah, a year. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's good, great, awesome. I enjoy having a, like a partner. And I also still playing basketball uh, just for fun. Uh, I join a league. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing so far after Great Lakes. I think it's been like 10 years or eight years. Gabby, do you think that uh, Great Lakes Christian High School influenced your choice of uh, university and your area of study? Uh, yes, because uh, when I was in Chris, uh, Great Lakes, I was surrounded with a lot of diversity people with, uh, from different um, countries and cultures. So that helps me to shape my mindset and be aware of that. So because especially in, the, in what we do, like what I do, I'm an advertiser and a marketer. So we have to have different type of um, like ideas coming from different type of person. So, so we brainstorm based of different ideas and we create this great campaign for these people to reach out. So I think uh, that helps me out. And I, I say that I personally grow uh, based on that experience at Gray Lake because I was exposed to so many uh, people with different backgrounds and nationalities. And it makes you more aware of, hey, of, you know, others. So I think it was a good experience of my end. And I still have those connections with, my, with those friends that I made 10 years ago. 
If you were to write a resume, Gabby, based on your experiences and accomplishments and interests when you were at uh, Great Lakes Christian High School, what would it say, for example, what extracurricular activities were you involved in and what subjects did you prefer and excel at? Activities I enjoy playing at sports. Like I really uh, like um, gym class. So we have like, we play uh, hockey, volleyball, you know, we did workouts. So it was really fun because I'm like an active person. So what uh, what classes did I enjoy the most and gave me the benefit? I would say um, finance. So I, I like numbers. I mean, I didn't realize that back in the day, but when I took that class, I enjoy economics to, just to see that big picture of how numbers work and, you know, micro, I think it was microeconomics class. So I really enjoyed that class. So that's why I set that foundation and that led me to get my master's in business administration. So, so um, you know, I was in high school. I didn't, I, wasn't, I didn't have a big picture of what I wanted to do. But if I have to look back, like from today, I would say that class helped me out a lot just to realizing, hey, I, I like, I will say English and microeconomics because English gave me that creative perspective. And then I have that mindset of numbers. So, and mm -hmm. what I do, that's just like a great combination of those two. Gabby, what was your proudest memory from the school, from Great Lakes Christian High School? That's a great question. Ooh, it was 10 years ago. Let me refresh my mind. I guess all those uh, moments that I share with my friends and the perfect, like the teachers, because they're more like teachers. They're like, actually, like, they're like mentors. Mm -hmm. So I'm really proud of making those relationships with them. Because to this day, I, ha I still have that connection and I value the insight when it comes to, you know, my, the teachers at that time that I saw them as a mentor and I still see them as a mentor so I can reach out to them. So that's something that I'm really proud of. That is, that I got the opportunity to have those mentors in my life to this day. Gabby, let's think back uh, to a moment when you and your family were choosing a school. How and why did uh, you choose Great Lakes uh, Christian High School? And um, where were you before that? Where did you go to school before Great Lakes? Well, I was back home in Ecuador, so mm -hmm. I was in a private school, but I always had that desire in me just to study abroad. So I was looking at different um, like countries to go. So I was actually, I was looking at Australia, Germany, and then I got really discouraged because, you know, Germany, the language is going to, if, if it put me like a year behind, so I was like, now I'm like a year to graduate, so I'm like, there's not point for me. And Australia was like too far away from my family. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know if I want to do that. And then I just like, okay, Canada. And then I start searching and it just show up. And then I pray about it. And then, you know, I just apply. And then they were like, they were willing to work with me. So I, I'm really thankful for that opportunity. So they're a great team. And as I mentioned before, they're like, they're like family. And I, to this day, I feel like they're my, my Canadian family. If you had to pick one thing, what did you appreciate most about attending Great Lakes Christian High School? What was the one big thing for you? Ooh, the, like um, the principal. Like it's like a Christian foundation. So at that moment, when you're like in high school, you don't realize the value of that. But if you look like, if you look back, at the, those days, it sets like a really nice foundation in the long run. So, I will, and the second thing that I value the most, as I have mentioned before, it would be um, the professors, the teachers, because they're more than that. They really care about you, not just like in the student level, it's just like as an individual and how you're doing in your academics and how you're doing in your like personal life. So that's something that, and then the third one will be uh, the diversity. So I'll be able to, you know, have lunch with uh, people from different countries and learn about the backgrounds and the traditions that they have. It's just like, that's something that you cannot get uh, in, like in other places. So I really, so I give you three because that's what I got from Great Lakes. Was there a moment when you were talking to, to a student from another country and they just surprised you with something that they had learned or something about their culture? 
yeah i mean like uh, i think i have uh, i think one of my roommates uh, she was from africa so we i was impressed when she was she came to me and like hey i'm listening to your spanish music i'm like oh really me too i'm listening to you. i'm watching this uh this uh video about your uh a tv show and then there were a lot of asians so we were like get together on a friday night and friday night and just like watch korean shows and which even though we don't understand we have the subtitles in english we were just laughing with them so it's just like a fun experience I get all, it, it sounds terrific. Yeah. Let's, let's step back a bit here and try and see the school as objectively as possible. To the best of your knowledge, what in your mind, Gabby, most differentiates Great Lakes Christian High School from other schools that families may choose instead of it? What's the big difference with that school? I will say the uh, teachers, the professors, and the principal, like they're Christian based and they're committed as a teachers as and as mentors, just to make sure you have that foundation in the right place. Say Great Lakes Christian High School is to become personified. It's going to be, the school's going to become a person. Okay. A single person that we want to get to know. Describe its personality in three words. Woo, three words. Uh, let me think about this. Sure. Um, only three of them? Well, if you want, if you got more, go ahead. Must be quite a person you're thinking of. Okay, so I will say that um, based on my, you know, I will say that they're like, they're humble, mm. um, they're fun, they, they're like correct, they're like, you know, they go by the rules, um, they are, sin you know, they have like a sincere heart, um, and they're like, they have a vision. Oh, they know okay. where they're going. They know what they want and they know what they want to accomplish and they're going to do whatever it takes to help you out. Excellent. Let's dive into a couple of those other ones. You mentioned humble humility. That's a great, that's a great personality trait. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. What do you think that's grounded in humility? I will say that, um, uh, their principles are based on like Christian values, you know, love others the way that you want to be loved. So I think that's how they get that personality of being humble. And you can see that in, you know, in all, all the staff that, is, that works at Great Lakes School in high school. And the, one of the other cool uh, personality uh, qualities you thought was uh, this, this school is fun. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's like the diversity aspect for me that that, that was fun. I just I enjoy learning about um, cultures, uh, diversity, you know, just even if you take that beyond diversity, it's just like, it's just taking, like, learn an, about another, like, person, because, you know, we're all the same, we're all equal, but you might think different than I think, it's just like having that conversation and just knowing and that it's a safe place to have those conversations, that's, that makes that place fun. That makes sense. Yes. You know their rules, and you know still, but the ability to have that type of conversation with the students makes great lakes fun. And you mentioned uh, they're kind of by the book. They're they're a disciplined person. Yes. And how does that benefit you? Uh, well, these days because you, you got a job, so you have to be on time all the time. You know, <laughs> you have to show up to class. You have to show up to work. You have to. Uh, submit projects to this day and then you know you have to do the same at you know when we're back when we were back in high school so you know that's the same principle. Gabby what would you say are the school's highest values in actual practice? I would say they're committed to share Christ. Uh, I will say that they're committed to help you out and you know so you can grow as a person in like you know personally and academically and they kind of like, they're committed to set you to, you know, what is coming after that, like what is coming after high school. So they're pretty good at helping you out like, hey, what's the plan? You, you have an idea where you want to go. So it's just like that, that advice is really helpful, especially if you're trying to figure it out what you're going to do or where you want to go. What do you think students and families would find surprising about Great Lakes Christian High School? For example, what were you surprised about when you were there? 
Uh, that's it. Well, that was a great. That's a great question because it was my first time there, so everything was new to me. <laughs> so, I never been to Canada before that time, so it was like completely new. I mean, everything was new, so everything was really surprising to me. So, uh, I didn't know what what to expect. I just show up, and everyone everyone was like welcome me. They were like really nice to me and my mom. So, that's that's just what I experienced. So. That, was, that was the most surprise. That was the most surprising thing about the school. Yeah, yeah. they're really nice and welcoming. Uh, especially, they understand that it's the first time that we actually been there and we didn't know anyone. <laughs> it was kind of scary because you know uh, I was 16 years old and then I moved like from south all the way to north, and then my mom was about it was about to go back home, so I was like there by myself. But they were like really nice, trying to you know make me feel like, hey, it's okay, we got you, we're gonna take care of you, and that was uh, really nice to have. Now, uh, I know how much you loved uh, the students you were with. Gabby, can you describe for me a typical student at Great Lakes Christian High School and how you remember them relating to one another? Uh, everyone uh, describing a typical student. I remember that everyone was like really friendly. Everyone got along with everyone. Uh, everyone was respectful. I I remember like especially going from my like coming from like going to school. Uh, you know when I opened the doors, I just remember everyone you know hanging out, smiling, and you know having a like a good time and be respectful. That's what I I remember. And when it was time to actually you know go to class, everyone was like ready to go, committed to actually, you know, learn. I'm gonna get a little personal here. Do you think your experience at Great Lakes Christian High School, Gabby, has shaped you to be the person you are today? And in what way? Uh, I, I will say yes. Somehow they had an impact in me and again, all those, you know, those mentors that I have, they, they make a difference in my life and all the decisions that I, that I made. So, because I feel like going to Great Lakes uh, helped me to actually step, step out, out of my comfort zone because I didn't have anyone. I didn't have mom, dad. I was just like by myself. So I needed to figure out things by my own. So that helped me out, especially in college, because you know, college is a lot of, comp especially in your senior year, there's a lot of competition and especially in what I do because I'm an advertiser. So that experience of getting out of my comfort zone and just go after the things that I want to do helped me to be one of the top 50 most promising uh, multicultural students in the U.S. in the advertising industry. So that was kind of like a, like a big deal uh, because I, will, I never crossed my mind, hey, you're going to be the top 50 student in the advertising industry to, you have to go to New York and receive an award and all this stuff, but I will never be in that position if I never had the experience of, hey, you know, you're by yourself, you gotta get out of your comfort zone, you have to speak out um, for yourself. So I feel like in that area, it helped me out, it helped me realize that, hey, I can, I can do better. I can, you know, sometimes take time, but um, it helped me to, you know, realize that when I look back, just to make better choices. Did you uh, ever look back and, and think about the Gabby that started started school at 16 and what she was like when she left? Yeah, I go, yeah, yeah. I mean, I grew up a lot and since that point all the way to where I'm at. I mean, personally, spiritually and professionally, like I will never thought I will be I will have all the opportunities that I that I had. Fabulous. Let's uh, just reflect back on your own experience there. If you had to pick something to change about the school, about Great Lakes uh, Christian High School, Gabby, what would it be? For example, what would have helped you if it was different about the school? Mm. Well, I always got in trouble because the uniform. Oh. So that might... tell us about that. So you know, I mean. Usually I got in trouble because you have to tuck in your um, t-shirt, but you know, I always, 
I was kind of like, yeah, I don't like that. It doesn't look cool. You know, you're, you're a teenager and you don't realize that stuff. So I always got in trouble for that. So I'm basically my lunch time. I was, you know, spending, I spent that time in a room because I was, that was my punishment because I didn't follow the rules, even though I got a few warnings before that. So, uh, you know, if they can be a little bit more flexible with the uniform, that'll be nice. Gabby, how's your perspective on the school and your experience there evolved over time, especially that you're no longer there? When did you graduate? Was it 20, 2015? I think it was like 10 years ago, eight years ago, 10 years ago. I know, wow. uh, yeah, I know my, actually my brother went there after I left. Um, but I think it was like, oof. When I look back, I kind of feel like, oh my gosh, it's been that, that long. 10 or 8 years. It doesn't feel that way, but it is. So would you say your perspective on the school is, was mostly positive? Yeah, mostly positive. You know, uh, I would say ups and downs because, you know, I was learning. It was a totally different experience. Um, I had, um, you know, it was like, it was a nice experience to have, but I was going and dealing with other staff at the same time. So it was, I would say, in general, the big picture, I enjoy my time at Great Lakes. I learned a lot from Great Lakes, and I'm really grateful for those mentors in my Canadian family that I have. I, I bet they learned a lot from you too, Gabby, because it seems to me you're a force. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody that doesn't like the uniform, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's big. <laughs> Well, it's just like, you know, a little bit more flexible when it comes to, you know, you know, the uniform. This is a two-part question. First of all, do you recommend other students enroll in Great Lakes Christian High School? Yes, I will definitely uh, recommend, uh, you know. Got three reasons? You got, yeah. First, you will find teachers that are more than teachers. They're like mentors to you. They, they're kind of like friends. You know, especially at that age, you know, because you're going and you're facing a lot. And sometimes you don't have, I mean, some topics are kind of like hard segue parents. So it's really nice to have that opportunity to go and talk about, you know, a question that you might have, like a funny story that you might have, or have like a totally different perspective about X, Y, and Z, you know. Having that opportunity, I think that's one of the greatest perspective. The second, the second one will be um, the diversity. So just to have friends around the world, that's cool. And to maintain that relationship, I mean, if you're older, it's pretty good because you can visit those friends, you know, and you travel, you know, you kind of like reconnect with them and then get ex you, get, you get to experience, you know, how how, you know, what's the culture and all the places that you hear about and they get super excited, you're like part of that journey now. And the third one, uh, I like Canada. I like Vinceville, it's like a really small town and you have everything that you need there. So, those three. Okay, now outside of those three reasons, which are terrific, is there anything you'd say to a family who's considering sending their, their child to Great Lakes Christian College right now? What should they know? I think I think they should be a, they should know that they're gonna get like a like a solid Christian foundation. When I say Christian, uh, I know that the term might be overused, but it's more than that. It's just like it's your relationship with God. So they're gonna get that. They're gonna uh, teach you all the values, and they're gonna help you to create that habit of like studying the Bible, because that's really good habit to have in the long run. And you know, as a, well, I'm a young adult, so that's something that it takes time to build. But if you have that, when you're like in those years that you're growing and learning, you know, that will come back at some point in your life. And then you start realizing that, hey, it is time for me to, you know, make a change, do better because you can do better. So I think that's one of the greatest things that they should be aware of that. They're getting that relationship with God. They, they have the opportunity to hear about God, especially now with everything that's going on. That's, I think that's more important than ever. 
Gabby, what about a family who's touring or visiting the school? Is there anything you would draw their attention to above all else? Yeah, uh, the basketball court and the um, soccer field. It's beautiful. Like during, you know, during soccer season, it's like a really nice field to play soccer. So is it is it regulation size? Uh, is it? Well, I remember back in the day, it was like it was huge. I would kind of like <gasps> take a minute and then run again. But <laughs> it, it it was pretty. I enjoy it. Okay. Now I'm going to put you on the spot here. Actually, I'm not going to. I'm going to put the spotlight on you. Sounds good, Gabby. What would say? There's a, a student who's about to enter the school, and uh, as a graduate of Great Lakes Christian High School, Gabby, what would your one piece of advice be to a student who's just about to enter the school? Hmm. I would say don't be afraid, because high school could be intimidating. Um, so just don't be afraid, don't be afraid and um, be yourself and try to be the best thing that you can ever be. Because when you look back, you don't want to regret any decisions that you can make.